what's going on everybody today's video and it's going to be a series of videos that i'm going to put out there for you guys uh about how do you start an aquarium what do you buy and the essentials of keeping the aquarium clean a lot of people out there just like myself when you first start you want to get an aquarium maybe for yourself as a hobby uh, maybe for your kids uh, aquariums add great aesthetic to the crib to your homes to your office and people it's just something good to look at so it's going to be a series of videos that I'm going to do for you guys. But this video is going to basically show you guys the essentials. Just getting started. A lot of questions people have. You know, what kind of aquarium do I buy? What fish do I start with? Uh, what do I put in the aquarium? What do I keep to, to make my aquarium uh, clean? I'm going to make a video for each one of those. I'm going to show you guys how to get started, what fish to buy. And it's going to be a series of videos. So be sure to like this page, subscribe, and uh Stay tuned. So today we're going to start here at PetSmart. This is pretty much a good place to go if you're looking to get started. Uh, we're going to go in and take some look at some tanks, uh, some fish, and just the basic necessity things that you want to put inside your aquarium as you get started and the longevity of your aquarium. All right, guys. So here we are inside of PetSmart. Here's your basic aquariums. Now, I'm not sure how many of you guys typically have these already or you want to start out with aquariums this big, but as you can see, uh, they have a pretty typical nice selection, 45 gallon tanks here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys the, in terms of the selections, going from a starter tank of about 20 gallons uh, to a 55 gallon tank. Uh, something like what you see here, uh, Marine Life. Uh, myself personally, I like to use this Top Fin choice. I think Top Fin typically has a good product and I'm gonna show you guys some of the product uh, that they have. So as we look on this aisle, a lot of people like the marine land. Uh, they typically have good uh, tanks, uh, but I'm a top fan guy. I think top fan underwater world tanks uh, are phenomenal. Uh, and here are some different selections of the top fan tanks. They have a 29 gallon, uh, they have a 20 gallon here. Now I have a 20 gallon, and I'm gonna show you guys the essential way of starting a 20 gallon, uh, especially for this great choice value. Uh, but you also have a top fin here. Uh, but the 20 gallon is typically good to start off with. And I also have a 55 gallon tank that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, and the videos are gonna come and, you know, you look at what are the essential things that you wanna put. You know, as you get your tank, you wanna get plant life. You wanna make the fish feel like they have uh, a natural environment. And one thing about PetSmart, they keep a great selection of things to put in the tank, flowers, uh, plants and, and that such thing so and as well as other things like you know look at this you know you want your fish to feel greek like or you want them to feel like pirates or you know just good things for them to go hide and, and play around uh, this is a great natural thing for most fish um, so you look around you pretty much decide how you want your tank you also see things like this, very natural, as well as plant-like uh, trees. Uh, so it's pretty much how you want your tank to look. A lot of people like the natural look. I myself do like the natural look, and a lot of people just like things like this, you know, that they want to add to the tank. But these are the different ornaments that you can add to the tank, and as well as the plant life. I'll show you myself personally with my tank what I chose, but. You be sure to get these things when it's essential to get your tank uh, set and fit with these. And as well as a backdrop. These are the different backdrops Top Fin also has. I'm telling you, the Top Fin brand is a good brand to use. Uh, and these are the different backdrops, you know. Myself personally, I like the more, you know, everyday pun like background, things like this, but there's plenty uh, to choose from ocean floor uh, and depends this is a fresh water tank we're going to use today uh, we're not going to do salt water so i like the fresh water look for the tank and uh and what i use typically around this here next you're going to want the rocks just like you see here in this tank how you have the gravel and the rocks you're going to want to choose once again top fin is a good brand uh, i like to use this 25 pound uh, bag this bag here is good for Typically can get you a 20 pound, 20 uh, gallon aquarium started. Uh, if you're gonna use anything bigger than a 20 gallon, a 55 gallon aquarium, you're probably gonna need 
50 pounds of rocks. You're going to need two of them. But I like this more natural rock flow look. A lot of people like the colors. You know, you can go different, different colors. And uh, you got the blue. You got your green. Uh, you got your black. Uh, so, you know, you, you can have different colors, however you choose. Uh, you can do the bigger rocks. Sometimes with bigger fish, you may not want your fish uh, to play around in the rocks. Uh, then this is a medium size, and then as well as these are the very small rocks. All right, so for you to get started, these were typically where I would say for beginners. Uh, these are feeder goldfish. A lot of people use these fish to feed turtles and other big fish like Oscars, but if you want to start your tank out, the 20 gallon tank, I typically go with these fish uh, just because they're good prices. 27 cent, 16 cent, doesn't cost you a lot in terms of the turnover rate if you're not able to keep them going and, and survive. Then we can go to these fish. These are your African cichlids. Uh, these fish are pretty much an advanced level for those people uh, who want to, are pretty advanced with aquarium people. Uh, they're pretty hard to maintain, but as you get to your expert level from the feeder fish, goldfish to this level, uh, you can get to this African cichlids and you see they have uh, these different variety of the cichlids that you can go from. Pretty cool fish, colorful, um, vibrant, add a lot of life to the tank. And you have a lot of people that like these. These are the glowfish. Uh, these are beginner fish. You can also use these. These are typically what kids love to look at. They love them. Um, Put these in the 20 gallon tank. They're not hard to maintain. But look at the colors. People love those colors. They love that glow in the dark look. Look at them. As well as these also. Has a, a glow look to them. And you have these as well. These are great fish to start your takeout with. Here, these are the mollies. Now, a lot of people like mollies. Uh, molly fish are pretty cool. Uh, but one thing about these fish, they produce a lot of offspring. Uh, so be prepared when you're dealing with those fish, as well as the platies. These are some beautiful fish uh, for your tank, but they produce a lot of offspring. So you have to be sure to tell your associates when you're getting these fish that you want the male or the females, and you see. You don't want to get them together if you're not prepared uh, to have a host of fish in your tank. Your favorite guppies. People love guppies. These also uh, produce, reproduce at a high rate. A lot of offspring, but guppies are very peaceful fish. You can pretty much put them in a tank with any fish that's peaceful as well, but you don't want to put them in with those advanced fish like the Oscars or the cichlids. Uh, you might come back one day and not see them there anymore, but they fit well as far as with the flatties and the mollies and the guppies, but they are fish that reproduce a lot. And another fan choice typically with beginner tanks are the tetras. People love the tetras. Uh, they're easily kept and maintained, as you can see. Uh, very peaceful fish, great for beginners. Uh, normally run you about three, maybe four bucks a fish. Uh, but they're very peaceful fish. So between those platies, the mollies, the guppies, and the tetras, and those beginner goldfish, that's where you want to start uh, to get that tank together for yourself or for your ch your kid. You know, if you're just looking to to get it going before you get to that advanced state with the Oscars and the uh, the cichlids and those type of guys. Now we're down to the maintenance part of the tank. You're gonna want to get one of these. If you're gonna start up with your 20 gallon tank, you're gonna want one of these vacuums, gravel vacuums, in order to help clean your tank. You want to suction out the water, and as well as gonna help get all of that gunk and dirty stuff out of your gravel. I'll show you that in a later video of how to clean your tank. But this is something you want. You just push this here, you be able to use that, and you put it out in the bucket. Uh, for the bigger tanks, uh, for like 55 gallons and as well as bigger ones, you're going to want this big top end uh, water changer, uh, 50 inch, and I'll show you guys this as well and how you work this, and it is amazing when you see this thing, but you're going to want things like that uh, in order to change your water, and as well as something to scrub aside. A lot of times you deal with algae, 
Uh, if your tanks are closer to windows where they get a lot of sunlight and are exposed, you have algae blooms. And this is what this thing does. This is where you can scrub the side of your tank and uh, be able to help keep it clean uh, when you have those huge algae blooms. And let's talk about the essentials. You're gonna need your essentials in terms of uh, keeping your tank clean. Uh, you look at this, uh, your stress coat. Uh, and as well as just top fin, like I tell you, I love top fin. Water conditioner. This is great for your water. Uh, you talk about it helps keeps the water in terms of the chlorine uh, so when you put your new fresh water back in this is what you're going to want to use in order to get make that water safe and I'll show you guys that uh, when we do the uh, water change video on how this works but this is great stuff right here by top end everything I'm showing you pretty much top end stuff that I like to use but you want to use this in terms of your water conditioning uh, to get that chlorine out of the water and make it safe for your beginner fish as you get going. Uh, there's a lot of other things that you guys can use. Uh, we're not gonna really dig too much into that until we get uh, towards the more experienced level. Uh, but you also wanna make sure if your fish ever gets sick, if your fish ever gets sick, that you wanna use this. It is a big reason why fish get sick. It is a fish disease and uh, you start to see the spots on the fish and uh, you start to see your fish starting to react in ways that it doesn't look healthy and normal. You want to treat the water with ick uh, cure and this stuff right here works miracles with your fish if you're just starting out. All right, now let's talk about the fish food. You know, you look at the essential parts of feeding your fish. Now I told you, if you're going to use those Tetris and those Mollies and those uh, platies and all those other fish, you're gonna use the flake food. You're gonna to wanna to get those fish, uh, some good flake food. This is for the tropical fish here though. And a lot of times this is for those angel fish and a lot of other fish that people like to use. For me, for those beginner fish, I like to use this here. This goldfish pellet. And the reason I like to use this here is because what it does, it really helps brighten the colors uh, with this Omega-1 fresh seafood formula that they use. It is great for brightening the colors and keeping the fish healthy. And as well as it doesn't give off as much waste uh, for the fish, but they like to eat this. It is very good and it really brightens up the colors in terms of the, the ingredients of what's in it and what it really does for the fish. This stuff works miracles as you can see what it does for the goldfish. But here's some food, you know, for your more advanced, for your cichlids and everything else down here. Uh, that you want to use, that you want to get for your fish. So it's up to you. There's such a wide variety. You kind of go, but me personally, I use this here. Uh, I like this, what it does in terms of the vibrant colors that it helps keep it. So now you're going to need your filters. This is essential when you're talking about cleaning your tanks. Once again, if you get those top fin tanks, these are what you're typically going to need uh, in terms of your filters. The bigger tanks, like the 55 gallon tanks, you're gonna need those big filters like this. And like I said, I'll show you uh, later down the line when we do the water change tank. But a lot of times tanks don't come with filters. So you have to buy your own filter. These are the power filters that help filter out the water. And they basically run and make sure that your tank is clean with fresh water. A lot of that gunk and things uh, gets caught up into these filters here. And you have to change these out because they get very nasty. I'm gonna have to show you guys some. Uh, when we change them out and as well as here are some other uh, filters for some smaller tanks but uh, filters are essential so when you go through always make sure the filter fits the water filter uh, that you have uh, for your tank and you just go through if you need help an associate to help you but I'm just showing you guys the basics of what you're going to need.